Today, I'm sharing how we keep our freezer organized. We have a standard sized fridge freezer combination, which is all we've ever known. Our dream fridge and freezer would be those huge industrial side-by-side -side appliances. However, until that day comes, we are quite happy with this one. The project was kicked off by wiping down the front of the freezer door, which is not as fingerprint resistant as I would like it to be. These stainless steel wipes work really well and do not leave smudges or soap lines. I found them at the local supermarket, however, the same ones are linked below, which are also sold on Amazon. A pretty good system is currently in place, and you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So instead, it was just spruced up a little. As you can see, it was divided into different categories, however, there weren't any labels which act as a set of instructions when taking items in and out, so that will change. We also recently made the transition from grocery shopping once a month to now going weekly. Because we were buying groceries monthly, aside from fresh produce and milk, we purchased a small freezer chest to help with storage. It has since emptied out quite a bit and now it just stores overstock of meat. Everything came out of the freezer and it was scrubbed clean. This is the only time in nearly four years that this space has ever received that kind of treatment. One of the shelves in the freezer door had some kind of frozen disaster going on. It was a combination of a Klondike bar, melted popsicle, and cardboard box, and took a little bit of elbow grease to remove. I don't know what they put in magic erasers, however, I continue to always be impressed by its ability to clean and scrub things that a traditional soap and rag can't. The all-purpose containers that you saw earlier were washed out, dried, and then labeled. These are great and truly are all-purpose. They are also used in the fridge and more than double the vertical storage space. I use a Silhouette Cameo to cut the vinyl labels. It's an older version. I think I bought it in 2015 and it still works great. I made a label for fruits, veggies, meats, and carbs. I do like to wipe the area that is being labeled with an alcohol wipe followed with a dry paper towel. I found that the labels adhere better. A small amount of time was spent going through bags of food that were already opened. I transferred everything that was open into a freezer bag. It just makes it easier to see what you have and prevents anything from falling out. As you can see, I had a little trouble with the broccoli. I also consolidated like items. I'm not too worried about expiration dates since the items are frozen and we do go through them frequently. In the freezer, the shelf is kept on the lowest setting so that we can put the amazing all-purpose containers on top. They act as mini drawers for the fruits, veggies, meats, and carbs. When filling the containers, the unopened bags of food were placed in the back and the open bags that were just transferred into the freezer bags were placed in the front so that we can see them first. First in, first out, FICO. Thank you. 
We don't usually have that many carb related freezer items. However, we have an air fryer now and smiley fries are even better when you're an adult. The lower shelf is perfect for pizzas, ice, and frozen meals. We don't have any frozen meals at the moment. However, this is where they would go if we did. I take a freezer meal to work every day for convenience sake. Those are kept on the right side here. We have a few apple desserts left over that were moved to the front so that we can't miss them. And then coffee beans are also kept on this bottom shelf. My husband read somewhere that coffee beans retain their fresh roast flavor better when they're kept in the freezer. These really should be kept in an airtight container to avoid any dampness from the freezer though. And then last but not least is the ice. I am jealous of any person that has a nugget ice machine. It is on my dream list. In the interim, I have the second best ice, which are shaped like skulls. My husband bought these for me for Christmas and I love them so much. They remind me of my favorite band, which is Avenged Sevenfold. They do lose their shape pretty quickly though because of all the tiny details around the, the face slash skull. However, they make me smile every time a beverage goes on the rocks. Moving on to the freezer door, the top section has ice cream. We usually don't have this much. However, my eyes must have been pretty big at the grocery store. I do go through phases where all I want is ice cream for dessert though. The bottom section is the wellness area. I keep my jade stone and rollers in this container on the bottom shelf. I'm new to this and don't know a whole lot about it. However, I found these on Amazon and wanted to give it a whirl. Next to that are my ice packs. I am headache prone and most times the only relief I can get is from a cold pack. So I always, always keep these here ready to go. That is how we organize our small freezer. I would love to know what tools you use to organize your freezer.